Welcome back everybody, it's your boy K1. Continuing my playthrough of Injustice 2, we're going into chapter 3, which will be a two-way chapter, meaning you will get to play as both Arrow and Canary. I will be doing both of these, so let's get into it. So when we last uh, left off last time, we had Supergirl just flying towards Earth. Hey, Egypt, who could be here? Black Adam. Another thing, they really worked on Black Adam's design in this game. He looks more like threatening, like he is a full on ruler. How is it dangerous for the literal cousin of the guy who used to run the entire planet? How can we make you more comfortable? Let me out. Diana, you've taught me what my powers can do. It's, I don't know how Wonder Woman taught her how to use the powers when literally soup in the original comics, Superman teaches her how to use her powers. So how? how? You're not Kryptonian. Just, I mean, like, I know you'd probably teach her to fight, but, in, like, you know, super breath, flight. I mean, Wonder Woman can fly occasionally, but not the speed of Superman. Well, makes sense. I mean, Black Adam and Supergirl can definitely take a bunch of Amazons. Yep, proof you are definitely in the Bat family. Batman allows you to drive the Batwing. <laughs> well, that's what a power vacuum is. As soon as one empire falls, everybody is trying to get a piece of that pie. And of course, a, a, a gorilla with psychic powers who can technically take control of minds. Makes sense. Guess I better call the sitter. Mommy and Daddy are coming home. <laughs> if this is more, you better pay her extra. But hey, if you're technically taking over, if you're technically babysitting Canary and Arrow's kid, I mean, you just know you can't screw with that kid or anything wrong. You'll have, you'll lose your hearing, and you'll have arrows in your eyes. Guarantee it. Shoutouts to the show, Brave and the Bold. Hmm, <laughs> that certainly doesn't look threatening. A skull with a gun and a machete. I like Grodd's armor, but I would have preferred if we got the full, like, psychic helmet. And also, Gorilla City needs to be a little more futuristic. Depending on, like, what the timeline is, you know, it literally looks like Metropolis. Completely updated with more technology than anything. But this, it just looks like a pure little jungle village, so. Hello, masters. The Society! Which, it's all, it's an okay name, but the Society... I would have preferred Secret Society. It always makes it always makes it more threatening when it's a secret society. The society, okay, they came together. You know, you got you know, you got a professor, a mercenary, a cheetah, a cheetah goddess, a guy who makes cold guns, a plant lady, a psychic gorilla, and a and a Technically, a woman dressed as a cat. All walks of life. So, I mean, it makes sense that it is a society, but come on. You should have kept it this... I would have preferred just the secret society or Injustice League. You could have at least made it that. But then you needed a few more. I mean, you have a few Legion of Doom members, but, you know, it's not THE Legion of Doom. Soldiers must be properly motivated to <laughs> 
Also, why is Grodd walking on his hands? I mean, come on, dude. You're an intelligent gorilla. You can stand on all on both feet. See? How hard is that? Come on, walk up straight. You're the leader. You mean as long as we follow your orders? Hmm. Report, Deadshot. We're ready to move out. Good dog. Now go tell the others. Oh, pfft. wow. Just call his Deadshot a dog right there to his face. <laughs> I like how futuristic cold actually looks, you know, freeze grenades, freeze gun. Ooh, silent partner. So Grodd's not running this by himself. Hmm. Canary, the canary cry drops three. I'm not bold enough to do that. So Batman villains. I call first dibs. Would have been nice if you actually put an arrow villain. So I'm just gonna go through all this with as Black Canary. I don't know why Bruce ever trusted you. I've got nine lives, Dinah. I'm only a traitor in most of them. Mm. Bow bow. Bit of that Eddie Gordo. Mm. Mm, yeah. Didn't see that coming. Ooh. Ah. Oof. You thought. You thought. Ooh. Oh, right in midair. Bow. Dream of screams. Ooh. Mm. Ah. One thing I hate about counter characters, you just. Why do you always... Come on. Sword knee. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, every time I use a super move, there's always a clash to it. How? Seriously, how do I always get a clash out of these? Oh. Mm. Right in that mid air. Much for nine lives. Oh, come on, Ollie. <laughs> Burn. Dude, like, that is some horrible camouflage for those pants. It looks like literally <laughs> pleasure stains on his pants. Like, how? Well, that just proves you ain't worth his time. Yeah, Batman showing that disrespect. Mm-hmm. The last thing you want to tell Black Canary is to open her mouth. Just not the best thing to do right now. Mm, yes. Oh, phew. another thing, they really gave Bane a lot of luchador moves in this. They actually made him the grappler, not just the powerhouse from Injustice 1. Oh. Mm. Oof. Bane bomb. Oof. Crud. Mm. 
Mm. What? Fu. Gotcha. Okay. <sighs> Come on. Oh, what? Well, oh, that was meter burn. Ouch. Mm. Mm. Oh, what? How do you get that out of... Just how? How do you get a clash when he's in the air? Time to come off that high, Bane. Oh. Oof. And 